So this is my bow. It's uh, very nice, if I do say so myself. It's a very nice bow. It's got a nice draw weight. And basically, I would like to get into our chair a little bit more to do some sort of sports. I honestly don't, <laughs> don't do enough. So I want to be able to carry this around. Now, of course, you can carry it around like this. Uh, this does not need a license. It's, it's safe. It's fine. Obviously, I do not will not be carrying arrows with it, so it shouldn't cause too much panic, but just in case, I really would like to sort of not be as conspicuous while carrying this. So, I would like to make a case, or at least a bag to carry it. However, I have already started with a change of plan, with a bit of a snag, I hit a snag. The canvas that I bought is not big enough, the canvas piece. I must be the world's worst estimator when it comes to measurements, but that is all right because this bow actually can be dismantled and it can be dismantled into uh, three pieces, which are the wings, separate pieces, and the middle handle. Now, obviously, the bowstring comes off, and, and I think that will be much, much easier to carry around. Uh, yes, you have to assemble it and disassemble it every time, but to be honest, I am expecting, uh, you know, archery maybe once or twice a week, so it's not too much of a chore. So let's start by disassembling the boat, then we'll go get our canvas and start planning out some basic designs. I'll be using a sewing machine and hopefully an overlock machine, a serger. The, the serger is new, haven't never used it before. We'll see how that goes. I still remember something from uh, what Gabriella taught me, so maybe I'll, uh, I'll find inspiration. <laughs> So let's quickly explain what I had in mind originally, which is going to be obviously very different from the plans, from the actual thing that we're going to make now. So uh, ideally I had the whole bow sitting in a pouch. Uh, it would be a folded over pouch with a seam uh, sewn on one side with a leather flap, which closes over it, a small leather pocket in front and a strap at the back. The pocket in front would hold the bowstring while the actual bigger pocket would hold the whole bow. Now unfortunately I don't have enough material to work with so I'm going to have to change it. So obviously this goes away. But that is just to show you that no matter how many plans I make I never actually manage to follow them so it's okay. It's more fun this way anyway.
Okay, it seems like we have a pouch. Uh, let's flip it inside out and see if it actually is good enough for what we want it. I hope it is. This was really cool to make. Quite enjoyed that, I have to admit. I was not expecting that I would be enjoying sewing so much. Okay, so I already can see some imperfections, but I can, I, I can live with that. Okay, corners need to pop out as much as possible. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I like this. So, the back is this side. Okay, so the back is actually longer. It's fine. I can put a leather flap on. The, oh, actually, I, th I think I can change that. So, for, let's start with this. Okay, so. Not bad at all. 